Hey guys, it's David Packer, and if you don't know me, I'm on a mission to lose 300 pounds. So I had kind of a strange idea that I've been stewing on a little bit, and I thought, why not make a video about it? So uh, the thought that I keep having in my head is, why do a majority or most of obese men have facial hair? Growing up as a kid, I didn't have facial hair, of course, and as a teen, I didn't have facial hair. Or even in my early 20s, I didn't have facial hair. But when I packed on the pounds, you better believe I started growing my facial hair. And for me, it was more of a factor of I wanted to hide the lack of a strong jawline and I wanted to hide the double chin. So I thought it might be fun for today's video if I shaved my face, you know, down to baby smooth, and then I haven't seen my face like that in probably years. If you've seen the documentary Pumping Iron, there's a scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger is um, talking to a young bodybuilder and, and the guy's like posing like this and he says, no, you gotta put it out there, you know, put it out, show them. Remember one thing, when you pose, a lot of little guys have one habit and they hide away when they pose. When they do an arm pose, they do like, like this. Okay, and a big guy will come right out with his arm. So never do that, never hide away. Like right now, he did like this. You know, show them, show them the whole thing. He was just talking about that confidence, even though that kid didn't have the hugest muscles, as big as Arnold, of course, that he still put it out there, show them. So I'm gonna expose my weakness. I do have some AMA questions that I've gotten from Instagram, not that many, a few, but I got some AMA questions that I'll share and talk about while I'm shaving. So we'll shave, answer the questions while we're shaving, and then we'll check it out when we're done. Let's get the shaving cream on my face. All right, now that I look absolutely crazy, let's go ahead and get the AMA questions pulled up here and we'll ask that. This first one is from Anthony with Gut Muscle CEO is his handle on Instagram. I'll link him below. Uh, he's been an awesome supporter of me, so I really appreciate it. All right, so he said, what's your biggest struggle outside of diet and exercise that's affected your weight loss journey? It's probably gotta be the mental side because Discipline is something that is obviously a little bit hard, but it's been well worth it. So yeah, I would definitely say it's more of like the mental grind of day in, day out. Uh, just always staying, trying to stay on top of your game. It's a long mental drag out. So it's not just overnight that you're going to get healthy. And, although I am trying to enjoy the journey as well. You know, it's not something that... I take lightly that I am able to do this, to uh, share my journey with you all and to take back my life. So I appreciate it. Thank you for the question. All right, so let's go on to our next question from Instagram. We have Kyle, who's also been an awesome supporter of me. Uh, I'll put his Insta link below. And he sent in an audio question, so I'll play it and I think the mic will pick it up. Dude, I got a question. Uh, I know when I started my business I had a screw this moment to where I was just tired of the life I was choosing to live I want to know what your screw this moment was for you to just commit to a healthier lifestyle all right thanks so much I, and I appreciate him saying screw this because well, I keep my channel PG so I appreciate that what may be easier than trying to explain it is to show you so i have some unaired footage from a couple days after the new year when i just started and let's cut to a clip and just to get completely serious for just 20 seconds i've come to the realization that if i don't stop what i'm doing i will eat myself into an early grave um, which is scary and frightening and that means leaving my wife a widow and leaving my kids with no father so this is literally a life and death situation. And we're back. So that's pretty much, I think my screw up moment was, I think just that fear of my mortality and not wanting to check out early, I guess. You know, I, I do think life is so precious and worthwhile and it can be something that's so beautiful if you create a beautiful life for yourself and those around you. So hopefully that answers your question because I um, 
I definitely there wasn't a like a specific moment where like I broke a chair and I'm like, all right, I'm changing it. I have broken a chair, but that wasn't the moment where it changed for me. It was kind of just a slow, gradual build where I finally had enough. Let me let me know below. Have you had like a screw this moment where you made a change in your life and what did you change about your life? Or when did that happen for you? All right, so let's go on to the next question. Um, this one is from my sister-in-law, uh, Emily. Hopefully it's okay to say your first name. I don't want to like dox you or get you in trouble, but uh, it says here, what has been your biggest motivation for losing weight? Uh, I would say it kind of ties into the other question, but my biggest motivation is first and foremost probably myself and wanting to have an enjoyable life like i i want to be upfront about it i do like i wish i could just be like oh it's you know just for my kids or just for my wife but i th i really think that it has to also come from within and for you and obviously doing it for my wife and kids is a huge reason about why i'm doing it but i don't know if it's like the main reason i think it's a huge reason but not maybe the reason so my reason why is probably more related on yeah, the wanting to have a full as full of a life as I can with those I love. My wife, my wife jokingly said that her question was, "Who has been the biggest support of you during your weight loss journey?" So, um, not a loaded question at all, I don't think. And yeah, without question, she's been the number one supporter. I mean, I've talked about it elsewhere off my channel, but. She has been huge about encouraging me to stay on track, um, bringing me, you know, food that's healthy, uh, whether it be like a salad for lunch or, you know, whatever it may be. So just that emotional and physical support has been huge. All right, so I think I've done pretty much as much as I can do here on camera. I'm going to go finish up in the bathroom to get a fully clean shave, and then I will be right back to show you. All right guys, it's time for the face reveal. Let's take a look here. What do you think, huh? Not bad, not bad. All right, let's take his head off mine. All right, so this is it. What do you think, huh? I think it definitely shows my double chin more like I thought, and it shows that I don't have a strong jawline like I thought, so it's kind of what I expected. Although it is nice to fully, you know, see my face face to face again. It is nice to see that. It, it felt nicer than I thought it would to kind of see myself again. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. This week I did gain back a couple pounds. I think I'm back up to 485, but I was fully anticipating that because ending my weight at 482 at a three day juice fast in the morning last week, I knew I was gonna come back up a little bit due to the water weight and all that. So. I'm completely happy with 45. I think we're gonna go lower next week, I'm assuming, but um, that is the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.